Rocketa Yahawa, Rocketa Yahawa Sai, Rocketa Yahawa, Rocketa Yahawa Sai, Rocketa Yahawa, Rocketa Yahawa Sai, Basama Kaku Das, or Kahalama Yahaba Smaf Sai, Basama Kaku Das. If we want to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone Rule Well, peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. I'm the hot spirit, we in Judah of the GMS Mississippi Count. All right, and today I want to go into the, the bitter sweetness of the times. All right, the bitter sweetness of the times. All right, just imagine, all right, you got a few gallons of gas. You on your last, I don't know, five miles on your gas tank, and you just praying that you can make it to a gas station just to pull up to the gas station, and they tell you, hey, we don't we don't take cash, and all you had was cash. Now, you would naturally be pissed off, right? All right, well, that's the bitter sweetness of the times that we're in because that's what brothers are experiencing now. All right, you will go certain places and they'll tell you they don't accept cash. All right. But we know that these are signs of the times. And now we know for a fact that we are at the end of the end. All right. We're at the end of this man's kingdom. Okay. So I'm going to open up with um, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believed. All right. So now our salvation is nearer than what we believe. And now we have the evidence, all right? We have tokens. We have markers, all right, in the spirit to show us what time we are in. So, you know, they got the, the thing with the the swiftness of the, the Maxine and how fast she's going to be here, all right? And it's so swiftly, it has you like, man, they're really fast with their um, objectives, you know? But that's the bitter sweetness of the times that we're in, because that's just how much faster your Howard side is going to come and intervene. OK, so let me get this in uh, Second Ezra, Second Ezra, I think that's the ninth chapter. All right. Second Ezra is nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And as you can see, he's visiting the world now with different pestilences covering the face of the earth. Now there's another pestilence covering the face and whether it's generated by Esau or directly from the Most High, it's still by way of the Most High, okay? And in India right now, there's a pestilence being conjured up right now as we speak. It's putting hundreds in the, in the hospital, okay? But these are just tokens that we are in those times, man, all right? You know, you, you have things that happened over the years, and you would think we were in the time at that time, well, be it year 2000 or whatever it may be. But now we know for a fact that we are in the time of a our salvation in the end of this man's empire. So these little inconveniences that, that, that we're going to encounter, whether it is, you know, stricter mandates all right for for maxine or you know another shutdown and you stuck in your house or whatever it may be all right that's the bitter sweetness of the times that we're in because it's bitter because it's still going to be an inconvenience to your flesh because you still have to maneuver in this mass society you got to pay your bills you got to get gas you got to get groceries so it's going to be harder to do it like we used to do it you know last year or two years ago all right but those are they're just the bitter the bitterness of the sweetness that's about to come, all right? The bitter has to come with the sweet, okay? Let me just go, on, go ahead and get uh, verse, 30, verse 3. Therefore, <clears throat> therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's what you see now, all right? Uproars of the people, verse 4. Then should thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like is all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Now the end is manifest. Now the end is made known. All right, we know for a fact that we are in those days and the prophecy is speaking. We're living in a time, we're living in a story right now. All right. We're reading about ourselves right now as we're as we speak, man. All right. So that's the, the beauty of it, man. All right. But the, the the bitterness has to come with the beauty of it, okay? It's like a dark beauty, you know? It's, you know, but, hey, 
is part of it, okay? So, you know, these, you know, just to repeat what I said earlier, just to reiterate, all right? There are going to be inconveniences even for the men, you know, the elect men and women, the, the men and the women who's the most high is going to cover, all right? But we're still going to be inconvenienced. We're still going to be uncomfortable. And we're still going to be tried, all right? But that's just, but at least know what time we're in. At least know that, hey, Yahweh Shah is right around the corner, man. And that's the sweetness of it, man. And, hey, and it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. All right, uh, let me let me get that right quick. Um, let me see if I can find it. Hope, oh. hope I spelled it right. Hope, oh. heart. Proverbs thirteen and twelve. Hope deferred make the heart sick. But when the desire come, it is the tree of life. And for any brother or sister that has experienced deprivation in this truth, whether it's you have to deal with the, 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 the thorn of financial necessity, or the most I only gave you the things that you needed to basically sustain yourself, all right? Um, you know, you may not have had a woman or, you know, you just may have been brought to a lower state, all right? That, that deprivation that creates bitterness, but that bitterness becomes sweet when those needs are met, man. And see, we're about to get all our heart's desire in the kingdom, all right? But when that hope is deferred and that, de that gratification is delayed, you become bitter, man. And it's okay to become bitter, but you have to keep that vision and that prize in your mind. Like the old saying goes, keep your, mind, keep your uh, eyes on the prize. Because now, as we read in Romans 13 and 11, we're at that time. We're at that time. Salvation is nearer than what we believe. Okay? So, yeah, you're going to have bitterness. And sometimes you get, you're get stuck inside your head. And you're worried about this, that, and the third. But that's why it says no man that wore entangling himself with the affairs of his life, man. Because the affairs of his life will make you distracted about the, the real goal at the end of the, at the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel, man. It'll make you get distracted about your, your mission, your purpose, man. All right? But, hey, hey, the time is nearer than we believe. And, you know, the, the fact that they're making this a cashless society, hey, that's the, the bitter sweetness of the times that we're in. And with that, I hope you brothers are edified. Once again, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Sarah Kakwadash. Double honors once again to our, <clears throat> double honors once again to our apostles of great millstone, Ruel. Peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. Till the next time, Shalom.